Hi, welcome. If you are seeing this video, I presume you are starting a learning journey with Middle Earth in the next few days. So welcome again. Uh, my name is Nitin. I'm the CEO of Middle Earth and I'm welcoming you to your learning journey. But to get the most of the learning journey, there are a few things I would like you to do so that this experience would be extremely enjoyable and lead you towards becoming a master of the subject. Let me get started on these few instructions. First, if you are seeing this video, you would have got a welcome mail a little time before this coordination mail on which you are seeing this video. The welcome mail which you would have got requires you to do a couple of things. First, in your welcome mail which, you, which should have been the mail you received before this mail, there is a confirmation link on that. Please click on that confirmation link. That allows us to confirm your seat for the program. Right? So please do that. In case you are having a problem finding the welcome mail, please send an immediate response asking for the welcome mail. Second, on the welcome mail, you are given a link where you have an opportunity to opt for one trend program or one or two technology programs depending on your enrollment. So we believe that to really master a subject, you should learn the latest trends in the subject as well as you should learn the technology which is most useful for this program. You have an opportunity to do these two programs free of charge. Please don't miss out the opportunity. If you are looking for a job change, you also will have an opportunity to enroll yourself for the career mastery classes on resume writing, job search and interviewing. Please don't miss out those opportunities. These are very, very useful classes. Most of the participants said it's really helped them make their resume better and helps them change their job better. These are free classes. Please enroll and the link for that is also on your welcome mail. Finally, you'll use your student ID to enroll for this program. So just go to the link, enroll for the programs and use your student ID. Now, communicating during this program, principally we'll be using two mechanisms to communicate with you, mail ID and the WhatsApp. Very rarely will we disturb you on your telephone number. So first, normally everybody who has enrolled for a program, we make them a member of a WhatsApp group. Now, what's the purpose of the group? for quicker communication amongst each other as well as with the coordination or the faculty. The WhatsApp group will have the faculty, will have an official customer care coordinator as well as all participants of that program or of a particular cohort. So my suggestion is guys, please check that you have become a member of the WhatsApp group. You can write to the coordinator anytime. If you have not been made a member, please reply to this mail on which you are seeing this video and write to them to say you want to become a member. It will normally, you will become a member three days before the program starts. All communication from Middle Earth is normally sent either through mail or WhatsApp and for some very important communication, we send it both through WhatsApp as well as email. So, couple of areas. First, obviously, again, I'm repeating, become a member of the WhatsApp group. Ensure you're a member so that it's easy for you to communicate. And whatever mail you just now received on which you're seeing this video, please mark that mail ID as a safe sender. Sometimes participants get back to us saying they have not received some particular communication. When we go back and check, we find the communication has been sent. But sometimes that mail has gone into a junk folder or sometimes even automatically deleted. So please, please ensure you mark the mail ID as a safe center. That will allow your communication to be easier. 
in case you want to reach out to Middle Earth, you can write a response to this mail ID on which you have received this mail or in the WhatsApp group you can directly send a message to the official admin of the group who is normally your customer care coordinator or somebody from the assessment set. So this is some things to ensure before the program starts. If you are attending a faculty-led program, which is a live program, few precautions I would like you to take. First, please, please, there is a tendency I have seen among some participants to join the program through their phone. This is not a great option for you. Why am I saying this? Sometimes Zoom does not provide all the options of interaction, breakout rooms properly through mobile phone. It is much better to use your laptop or desktop to log in to the Zoom session. Please take this precaution. Second, try to join the session 5-10 minutes before the program starts. You will get an opportunity to talk to the faculty, greet other participants, so on and so forth. During the sessions, you might be asked to do some exercise which is there in your courseware. Please note you should have got or you will get your courseware through your WhatsApp group. It is put on the WhatsApp group both on the day of the program and 2-3 days before. So you download it from your WhatsApp and keep it ready on your desktop. Keep your videos on. Now this is a very important thing guys. I do see sometimes participants do not keep their video on or they are trying to combine the training program with traveling or something else. This is not a great idea. You are spending a substantial amount of money in the program. Please try to get the most of the program. So keep your video on. This allows you to interact with the faculty, other participants easily and openly. Programs are also an opportunity to get to know each other. When you see the person, it's easier for others to get to know you. So please, 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 uh, a request from my side to get the most out of the program, especially the live programs which are done through Zoom, please keep your video on. Participate actively in the breakout sessions, discussions, etc. That makes your learning more enjoyable. And in some programs, there might be class participation marks for your certification. So please, participate properly. Now, you may not be attending one of the live faculty classes and you might be going in for one of our blended e-learning based classes. So if you are going in for our e-learning based, self-paced, blended classes, here are some of the tips. Keep a notepad during the session. Even if you are watching a video, it's nice to keep a notepad because at various points of time there will be interactive exercises. So complete the interactive exercise. When an interactive exercise comes in e-learning, stop your video and do the interactive exercise. That will aid your learning. Right? And finally, at the end of each e-learning video, there is a test. Besides the project, there is a test for e-learning. So in such cases, try to complete the test. That just gives you a sense whether you paid attention properly, you have understood the content properly, so on. Now, whether you are attending an e-learning or a instructor-led training, you will be receiving a weekly project. Personally, this project is central to your learning. It's a very important part of your learning. These projects are carefully selected so that you can get and master the practical aspects of the program. So here are a couple of tips I have. Try not to bunch up your project work. There is a project work every week. Try to complete it every week. Guys, we do get a good percentage of completion, 80 to 90 percent people do complete our programs. But there is a group who don't complete. 
partly it's because they don't do the weekly projects then suddenly at the after three four weeks they end up having four or five projects left to do and they find it very difficult to get started the best way to get your certification on time complete your certification on time is kindly do your projects every week once you get into the habit of spending that one two or three hours depending on the size of the project every week you will feel you understand the subject matter and your certification will be on time. If you don't complete the project within three months of the starting date of the project, you may have to pay late fee. This is because we have international accreditations where we also have to pay a late fee and definitely you may end up paying the late fee. This is another reason for you to complete your certifications all the time. If you have any doubt, you might do your project and find you have some doubt in the project. Now you have two opportunities to resolve them. One, you can directly mail or direct message through WhatsApp your coordinator, administrator of the WhatsApp group, as well as write to the coordinator. In case you have a problem, you have the very, very good facility, whether you're attending e-learning or instructor-led training, to attend a doubt clarification session with one of our senior faculty. Now, these doubt clarification sessions are normally done by very advanced faculty, and you'll find it very easy to resolve any doubt with them. These sessions are normally there every single week. So it gives you an opportunity to attend to click on a Zoom link, meet a live faculty and talk to them, whether you're attending ELT or IELT sessions. Why are these doubt clarification sessions important? They help you complete the project if you have a doubt, clarify your, any kind of doubts you have. So please use them. And finally, as I repeatedly said, please be a member of the WhatsApp group because even the projects are normally sent through that as well as your mail though. Now, uh, the weekly projects normally try to submit it, like if you, normally most of the sessions are on weekends and even the videos you might be watching on a weekend. So if you watch the video on a weekend or attended a class on the weekend, try to submit your project by Thursday or Friday of the same week. B, projects are not meant to be a download of internet. Please don't take a lot of material from the internet and put it to the project. It should be precise answer to the question asked. If you submit it by this Friday, you should normally get it by the next Wednesday, the corrected results. If you submit it, let's say on a Saturday or Sunday, obviously you won't get it the coming Wednesday, you will get it the following Wednesday because the faculty normally correct it over the weekend of all projects are sent to the faculty or the verifiers, specialist verifiers on Friday evening. They verify it over the weekend and send the results back. Let's say you do it on Thursday, then your projects will be clubbed with the next Friday project. So it might take you a week to 10 days to receive the corrected results. These are some of the mail IDs that I would like you to keep carefully with you. Um, these are anyway been sent to you in the mail, but in case you have a problem, these are the best people to write to. First set of people you can write to for an instructor-led program is your learning management team. These are the mail IDs for some of the learning management team people. And if you send them a message, or a mail, you can, the turnaround time for a small or simple query, please allow for eight hours. And if it's a very complex query, it might take as much as 20, 48 hours to send this message. Please note that the assessment support team are available only between 9.30 to 5.30 India standard time. If you have sent a mail after that, you may not get the response equally fast. And normally, like any other company, they might not be working on a weekend. So please check. Now, 
in case you want a answer or you don't want to use a mail or telephone number you can directly uh, direct message the administrator of your whatsapp group who is normally the learning management team member in addition to the assessment team members if you are having a project query you can write to the coaching support mail id that's second level of support which you will get and if you by chance do not get the doubt clarification link by the way the doubt clarification links will be put up every week on your whatsapp group as well as initially when you join the coordination mail will have the link of your doubt clarification sessions but in case you have a problem please write to this person the mail id is given similarly if you are attending the ELT sessions, you have a e-learning at middleearthhr.com, which is the main mail ID, and there's a telephone number by whom you can write to. Same way, if you have any coaching uh, support you need, and coaching support will be normally referring to your project work, you can write to that person, or you can write if you want to attend the doubt clarification session, there is a mail ID there. As I said, Besides this mechanism, you can write directly to the administrator of your WhatsApp group. Normally, the turnaround time should be within 8 hours, you should get a response. Please note, of course, the working hours and working week will apply. So that's it, guys. Thank you. I hope you'll have a wonderful journey. We are here to support you. We are here to help you learn. We have wonderful faculty and a very responsive learning management team. I hope you will have a great learning experience. Thank you.